Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Nastic Pyramid. A very basic, simple model. Easy for beginners to follow along. Alright, so we're going to start out with the default cube. And we're going to turn this to a pyramid. So if you think about it, a pyramid is just a bunch of cubes stacked on top, on top of each other. Smash down cubes like a pizza box. Alright, so I can uh, be in any view. Let's hit one for front of you as a habit. One on the number pad. So I'll go back to this view here. So I'm going to scale this down along the Z axis. So to do that, I hit the S key for scale. That activates the scale tool, see? But I want to scale along the Z, I'm going to snap it to the Z axis. Now it just goes up and down. All right, I'm going to scale this down to 0 0.2. 0 0.2, enter, there we go. So all I did was S, Z, 0.2, enter. Didn't click the mouse, none of that. Just uh, S, Z, 0.2, enter. I got this nice uh, piece of box here. Looks like first base. All right, now I'm gonna make it a little wider and a little longer. So I'm gonna scale along the Z axis. Sorry, I just scaled it down on the Z axis. I'm gonna widen it along the X axis. So S, X, to enter. There we go. Now for the Y, which is the green one here. S, Y, to enter. There we go. That's gonna be the, uh, the beginning of our pyramid. I'm gonna one for front view, five for ortho view. And I'm gonna take this to edit mode. So to go to edit mode, I go here, object mode, select edit mode or hit the tab key and it toggles between edit mode and object mode. All right, so in edit mode, I'm gonna zoom in to my uh, cube here by spinning the mouse wheel. You can also hit the plus sign on the number pad. Remember to always have the uh, number lock on on your number pad. All right, so I'm gonna make this transparent. I'm in Z for wireframe, A to deselect. Cool, so now everything is deselected. I'm gonna border select just these top ones here so I can extrude the uh, next layer, the next uh, next cube that I would have up here on my pyramid. So B for border select, hold down the left mouse button, drag over and just select just the top half here. And whatever's inside my um, my selection box will get selected. And right now I have vertices select, uh, selection activated, so select it just with vertices there. Don't make a big humongous one that does that, you don't want that. We just want to select the top part, we're going to extrude that. This down here is going to stay the same, and we're going to do something with this up here. Alright, so with that selected there, I'm going to extrude this. I'm a, and then scale it. So E to extrude. Yeah, I can extrude it. But I don't want this going up and down. I'm going to go inward. So I'm in S for scale. See, now I can go out or in. Then I'm going to do 0.8 and then enter. There we go. So that was E, S, 0.8, enter. You know, scale that inward. Now I have a, another face in there. Once again, that was E, S, 0.8, enter. You know what? Let me bring up the tools. I mean, the, bring up the, uh, the cold screencast. You guys can see the tools I'm using. Start display. There we go. That way you can see what keys I'm hitting. All right. Now I'm going to extrude this up. It's going to be E.4 enter. There we go. See? Now I'm going to do ES.8 enter. ES.8 enter. There we go. Now I'm going to extrude this up. E.4 enter. And to go up and down like this. Just hold on the shift key and spin the wheel on the mouse. The third mouse button. All right, so time for another uh, extrusion and scale. E, S, 0.8, enter. So by hitting E, it extrudes. S, immediately after that, it's gonna scale my extrusion. And by hitting 0.8, it's gonna extrude it down to 80% of the original size. It's gonna make it smaller. And by hitting 0.4, it goes up by the uh, these little four grid marks here. So 0.4 of a big blender unit. Here's a big blender unit. There's a grid mark right here, this big square. And for the smaller ones, it's for the 0.4. 1, 2, 3, 4. See? 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. So I'm going to shoot this up. E.4 enter. There we go. ES.8 enter. E.4 enter. ES.8 enter. E.4 enter. All right. <clears throat> it's looking good there. I usually, uh, pyramids, you saw, uh, Zastic pyramids have like a like a room up here. I'm not sure how many rooms are in there, but there's something like, uh, something's up there, I don't know. So we're gonna build that, that little room that's up there. So here's uh, the big giant steps. Later we'll make the stairs. But we're gonna make the little room that's up there. So I'm gonna go with E, point six center. Oops, sorry, forgot the S. So I'm gonna control Z that. So E, S, point six center. Make it a little more narrow. And bring it up also by about four blender units. 0.4 blender units, E.4 enter, 
Then I'm gonna widen this out right here so I can make the uh, little roof. So I'm gonna ES 1.2 enter, it goes about 20%, and bring it up by uh, only two blender units. E.2 enter. There we go. <clears throat> Hit the Z for solid view. Tap key for object mode. And there's your pyramid. The only steps are really uh, are really uh, far apart, so we're gonna have some stairs in there right now. All right. So I'm gonna bring in a cube. So Shift A, mesh cube. I'm gonna convert this to stairs. Hit Z for the wireframe and bring it up. And <clears throat> I'm gonna put it off to the corner over here. So that, make sure you're in front view. You want the bottom to match with the bottom of the uh, your pyramid here. Oh, I think I had it there. Put the decimal key to center in that, zoom in center, there we go. And just eyeball it. Oh, you know I meant G and then Z for grab. I'll leave it like that, that's good enough. And I want that to touch up there. So I'm gonna take it to edit mode, tap key for edit mode. Make sure your cube you just brought in is the only thing selected. Right now I know it's selected because it's yellow, but my pyramid is not selected. All right, A to D select. And B border select the top. Use this blue arrow widget to bring it up to right here where the where the stair sword in <clears throat> at the top right here. So you can go inside that room right there. All right, A to D select. And then A again to select all. Now I'm going to create um, the, uh, the parts that I'm going to cut out for my stairs. So I'm going to subdivide this cube because the cube has four faces. Sorry, six faces. The cube has six faces. Now I'm going to add additional faces within these big faces. Over here to subdivide on the tools panel. You're subdividing. One. You subdividing. Let's go, let's go. I need to get a faster computer. Two, three, four. Depending on how big you want your stairs to be, um, the more often you hit subdivide, the smaller your little squares are going to be. Just a heads up, uh, the smaller these stairs are, the more work you got to do. If you go too far in with the subdivide, you can just control Z to undo it. All right, I'm going to hit A to deselect. I'm going to go down here for face selection so I can select the faces that I'm going to delete. All right, actually, let's prep this up a little better for making our stairs. I'll make the cuts for the stairs. Here we go. I'm gonna bring this out. So I'm gonna cut the stairs right here along the middle. So I want this one up here to be the last step. I'll put it like, uh, like right there. It's gonna go down through there. All right, so A to D select. I use the red arrow to pull it out forward. B border select. And I'm gonna cut right there. Let's see, cut all those. Boom. So right now I'm just going to select the ones that I'm going to delete later. So you want to imagine this being a set of stairs. Oops, skip the step. See, you can see the stairs right here already being made. Just border select and go in by one unit there. You border select. And on the right side, you know, I can go way out there because all of those are going to get deleted. Oops, skip another one there. Border select and oops, the next one over. Boom, boom. Let's see here. There we go. Uh oh, wrong key. It's a downfall to having uh, big fingers. Hit the wrong button sometimes. There we go. Let's see what's happening again. Oh, too far, too far in. Let's go. All right, one more here. Bam. All right, so I'm going to delete these. See, you can see my stairs right there. All right, X delete key. Select vertices. Oops, not vertices. Control Z that. X key, delete faces, faces, just the faces. There we go. So I wanted to keep these here because I'm going to hit Z for solid view. See, there's a hole right there. I'm going to fill this in. And uh, also you notice these are really wide. We'll narrow it down later. All right, one for front view. I'm gonna go back over to vertice selection. All right, Z for wireframe. And I'm gonna hit C for circle select. <clears throat> and I'm gonna select right here where all the gaps are at. 
I'm gonna select all the parts that are uh, they make up the stairs not these other vertices here just these right here along the uh, little uh, step pattern and then I'm gonna use a tool to bring them together so bridge edge loops let's see for circle select hold on the left mouse button and just hover over those areas that you want to select and just make sure it's the only ones in the step don't go in beyond the steps only the ones on the edge only the vertices on the edge I'm just holding on the left mouse button and dragging my mouse around all right cool not this one right here this one's already solid this one already uh, connects with something over there Z for solid view either already has a connection there oh look I don't need that one so I'm gonna deselect that over there I'm gonna one from front view and Z for wireframe again I'm gonna Z for circle select one more on shift left click and it'll deselect it there we go right click to turn off the uh, circle select tool all right and make sure you don't get any of these over here that are not part of the, the step that are not out on the perimeter so none of these vertices here just the ones in the actual step it's easy for solid view I'm pushing that my mouse wheel and move my mouse down and to the left so you can see the side here all right so all of those are selected there and i'm going to connect them all w for special menu select bridge edge loops where are you bridge edge loops there you are oops something that shouldn't be selected got selected select at least two edge loops see maybe it was uh, these right here let me deselect those Z for wireframe Z for circle select shift bam bam all right right click turn off the tool Z for wireframe all right let's try this again W red edge loops cool there we go just got to make a connection for those up there so I'll show you guys how to do that right now one for front view A to deselect and then Z for wireframe and just border select that corner there with wireframe on and with all those edges and vertices selected go ahead and hit F for fill and it should fill it in we'll fill it in uh, this part here is sticking out a little bit so we'll fix that in a bit let's uh, fill these in over here first one for front view A to deselect Z for wireframe and I'm just gonna right click right here hit the decimal key center that and I'll zoom in <coughs> And Z again for solid view. Let me verify what area needs to be filled in. All right, so this area here, one for front view, Z for wireframe, B for border select. Oh, I can select everything from here all the way over there. See, mid F for fill. Cool, filled in, Z for solid view. There we go. All right, so I need to move everything over to the right a little bit. So I'm at A once to deselect, A again to deselect. I'm gonna pull on this red one right here and just cover up that area right there that I'm missing. Ain't too much. Let's see one for front view, Z for wireframe, that looks good right there. Uh, Z for solid view again, cool. It looks really wide, so I'm in three for right view. Let's see, should I cut this in half? Let's try that, so I'm in S for scale, and then Y, so I can scale on the Y axis, which was that green arrow that was there. So I'm gonna do 0.5, uh, 0.5 is not good enough, so I'm gonna right click to turn that off. Let's see, how much should I narrow this by? Let's go with 0.3, see how that looks, S, Y, 0.3. Enter. There we go. That looks a little neater. And is that centerish? Looks like kind of off up there. Seven for top view. Z for the wireframe. And move it over down a little bit. C3 for right view. There we go. Look, like the building up top is off centered. What's going on? I don't know. All right. C for solid view. See, there you go. Now, uh, typically the pyramids, there's another like barrier here, another piece of blocks. It just a uh, like smooth uh, thing that just goes down right here, smooth stone. So I'm gonna hit uh, Tab key for object view, bring in another cube, Shift A, mesh, cube. So make sure you do this in object mode. I'll pull this up here, see for wireframe, and just put it over here next to my set of stairs. Hit the Z key for the wireframe, uh, Tab key for edit mode. Now I'm just going to pull these out. All right. I'm going to A to deselect. E for border select. I'm going to pull this one out a little bit forward. Or actually put it like right there. A deselect. B border select. Grab this one in the back corner. And pull it, put it about there. The edge of the, the big stone. A to deselect. B border select. Grab this one up here. And I'm going to put this one a little more back. This one's going to meet up there where the, uh, the stairs uh, end at the top. G for grab. We pull it up. Let's see, Oop, too high. 
that's the more key. Let's see, try to put in this corner here. I guess I'll bring this one up A, D select, B border select. And I'm doing all this in the wireframe and in front view. That way um, I can select the ones on the other side as well. See? So now I'm going to scroll down here, shift, spin the wheel, control, spin the wheel, pull this one out some more, A, D select, B border select. Grab these and have it cover up the stairs. There we go. B for solid view. That looks good. I just have to narrow it down. A a couple times to select all. S and Y. I'm just physically do it with the mouse. Pull the mouse inward. Get a narrow strip. There we go. I just left click to commit to that. Use the green arrow to pull that out. C set for top view. C for wireframe. And it's okay if it goes a little bit inside the stairs. Looks a little neater, a little cleaner, I think. You will notice the, uh, the cutoff there. See for solid view. That looks good. So I'm gonna make a duplicate for the other side. Set up for top view. See for wireframe. Shift D and then Y. Snap it to the Y axis, just pull it out and put it over here on the other side. And try to mirror the, the amount that it goes in from the other side. That looks good. There you go. See for solid view. Cool. Tap key for object mode. So there you go. If you want another set of stairs, you can just join these here and then create a duplicate shift D, rotate, and move them out. So you go one for front view, stairs go out that way, three for right view. You know what? Let's go ahead and make the duplicates of the stairs. So uh, these two parts here are one object. Now I'm going to add the stairs to that selection. So I'm going to on the shift key, right click on the stairs to multi select. All right, control J to join. Ooh, now there are one object, center for top view. E for the wireframe. So Shift D, R, 9, 0, Enter. See, there you go, that's my duplicate. So I move it over here on this side. Make sure it's facing that way, yes. E for wireframe. And that looks good right there. Shift D, R for rotate, 9, 0, Enter for 90 degrees. G for grab, place that over here. I gotta move this one up a little bit more because it looks like the other stairs over here are going up a little higher. Maybe we just have them all inter intersect like that. Alright, see solid view. How's that, how's that looking? Cool, cool, cool. Kind of get the little design here. So I'm gonna duplicate this one too. Shift D, R, 9, 0, Enter. G for grab. And just place it up here. The other side. Easy for solid view. Looking good, bruh. Check it out, homes. Stick warrior. All right. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. Let me go to this render view. And that's how you model an Aztec pyramid. A Hika pyramid. There you go. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, everyone.